I'd like, it's a pleasure for me to present here the results of a trial conducted by Spanish myeloma group in a very special patient population of myeloma pa of, with my multiple myeloma. It's a group of patients with a smoldering multiple myeloma. Smoldering myeloma is a poor stage of symptomatic myeloma, characterized by the presence of a monoclonal component in serum, more than 10% of plasma cell bone marrow infiltration, but without any organ damage, that is, without any myeloma-related symptomatology. Until now, the standard of care for this group of patients is not treated, that is, therapeutic abstention, until progression disease occurs. And Spanish myeloma group is conducted this trial with a novel drug, lenalidomide, in combination with dexamethasone in this group of asymptomatic myeloma patients with the objective to delay the progression to symptomatic disease. But we, were, we, we wanted to conduct this trial in a very special subgroup of smoldering myeloma patients. Smoldering myeloma patients, but at high risk of progression to symptomatic disease. And we defined the high risk by the presence of a high serum component plus a high plasma cell bone marrow infiltration, or probably the presence of a bell plasma cell by flow cytometry plus immunoparesis. And we decided to conduct this trial in 126 patients. Half of them were randomized to not receive treatment until progression disease occurs, and the other half of the patients received an induction treatment with lenalidomide plus dexamethasone, followed by a maintenance therapy with lenalidomide alone at low doses, 10 milligrams daily. First, we, were, we, what, we wanted to know what uh, if lenalidomide plus dexamethasone is or not effective in this group of patients, high risk smoldering myeloma patients. And we have demonstrated that on an intention treat analysis, we observed an overall response rate of 81%, including 7% of a stringent complete remission, 7% of complete remission, and 11% of BGPR, very good partial response. In fact, after induction therapy, after the first nine induction therapy, approximately one third of patients achieve at least BGPR, and these responses were maintained during maintenance therapy, indicating that this combination is effective. But the most important data is that we have also observed a significant benefit in terms of time to progression to symptomatic disease. In fact, median time to progression on the no treatment arm was 25 months, and in fact, 28 out of, out of the 60 patients included in this arm have already progressed to symptomatic disease. By contrast, in the Lendex arm, only six patients have already progressed to symptomatic disease. The median time to progression has not been reached, and the difference between these two arms is statistically significant with a hazard ratio of 6.2. Most importantly, after a median follow-up of 22 months, we just started to see a benefit also in terms of overall survival, with a hazard ratio of approximately 6.7, indicating that there is a prolongation in the overall survival for this group of patients receiving an early treatment before to move to a symptomatic disease. In addition, toxicity profile, safety profile is also very important because uh, we can't forget that we are dealing with patients in which the standard of care is no treatment. Unfortunately, the frequency of adverse event has been very low. No grade four adverse events occurred. The frequency of grade three was very low, and most of the side effects observed, especially asthenia, skin rash, infections, neutropenia, were at grade one or two. During induction therapy and during maintenance therapy, Given lenalidomide as monotherapy and at low dose, only 10 milligrams daily, toxicity profile was even much better with a very low frequency of uh, side effects. So I think all these results put, put it together confirmed that uh, this early treatment in smoldering myeloma patients, but at high risk of progression to symptomatic disease, results as a very promising and effective option of therapy for this group of patients. These results will impact a lot in the clinical practice, but in the near future. Why? Because this is, an, this is the first trial 
conducted in a smoldering myeloma patient at high risk of progression to symptomatic disease. And I repeat, this is a group of patients in which the standard of care is not treated. So we need longer follow-up in order to confirm these results, especially in terms of overall survival. We need longer follow-up in order to know the results obtained by other groups that they are conducting also trials in this patient population. And I think if all these efforts are correctly managed, I think, I hope that in a near future, we can offer an early treatment for this group of patients, high risk smoldering myeloma patients. From my point of view, there is a clear benefit for patients receiving this early treatment, but this is not an approved treatment at this time. But there is a clear benefit in efficacy, in time to progression to symptomatic disease, and it's very important because patients in the abstention arm progress to symptomatic disease with bone disease, with renal failure. So with this early treatment, we can prevent important, very important myeloma relation thermatology, bone pain, bone fractures, renal failure, and I think this is an important clinical benefit for the patients. And also, in addition, the quality of life for the patient is very good because toxicity profile is very acceptable.